What's going on everybody? This is Austin Awesome here. And before you guys say anything, I want to clear up I want to clear up something. What in this video I'm gonna be talking about Battlefield One. But if I'm talking about Battlefield, I bet you're wondering why I'm showing Call of Duty footage when I'm when I'm gonna be talking about Battlefield. You know, why am I showing Call of Duty footage when I'm gonna be talking about Battlefield? And the reason is uh, because I have Battlefield 4, but you know, it's not installed on my PS4 anymore and I don't feel like spending a few hours I don't feel like spending all that time reinstalling it just to make like a 10 minute YouTube video. So that's why you're seeing this Call of Duty gameplay. This is just what I had. Um, I was playing Black Ops there earlier, so I just recorded a quick gameplay um, while I was there to, because I was planning to do this video, so, you know, like, I just record, I just recorded some gameplay just to use, but the, the gameplay to me really isn't all that important, honestly. I just wanted to clear it up just because I'm pretty sure some people are going to say that in the comments. But anyways, what, am I, what are we talking about in this video? We are talking about Battlefield 1. Kind of an odd name, but um, Battlefield 1. So, Battlefield 1 was announced today, um, and DICE announced that in the trailer, they announced uh, that it's going to be a World War One game. And um, the trailer that I saw looked absolutely incredible. I am genuinely excited for Battlefield 1. Um, I'm a big fan of the Battlefield series. Um, I honestly kind of like Battlefield a little more, more than I like Call of Duty. The past couple of Call of Duties are kind of... The past couple of Call of Duties have really disappointed me, with the exception of Black Ops 3. Black Ops 3 is a great game, but the, the past couple of Call of Duties before that have really disappointed me, as I've said in previous videos. Uh, but Battlefield, um, the past couple of games that DICE has made, Battlefield 3, Battlefield 4, and now Battlefield 1, um, you know, Battlefield 3 and 4, Battlefield 3 is personally one of my personal favorite multiplayer games ever. And uh, Battlefield 4 is also up there. Battlefield 4 is awesome, even though it kind of had a rocky launch. Um, that's kind of saying that that launch was rocky was an understatement. I'm pretty sure some people are still... Uh, I'm pretty sure that might be in the fresh in the back of your people's minds still, but whatever. Um, so what do I like about Battlefield 1? Well, what's, what's so awesome about Battlefield 1? 1, 1, it's a World War 1 game, like I've said. Um, I think the World War 1 setting... Um, if DICE can uh, uh, make it exciting, I think DICE can make it exciting. I honestly feel that DICE can make World War One exciting. Like, when you think of World War One, you don't exactly think of it as a super exciting um, idea or setting for a video game, right? You know, when you think of World War One, what do you think of? You think of trench warfare, you think of mustard gas, you think of bolt-action rifles, you think of artillery, you think of... Uh, freaking uh, biplanes and things like that, you know, and, you know, you, you know, things like that. That doesn't exactly sound like you would think that that wouldn't sound like um, an exciting idea for a video game, you know, um, you know, trench warfare that kind of thing. Kind of, kind of sounds boring, right? Well, the way they showed it in uh, in the Battlefield One reveal trailer is one. There wasn't actually, from what I saw, there wasn't actually too much trench warfare stuff. I mean, there was some. There definitely was uh, some uh, shots in the trenches, but a lot of it was uh, about the vehicles. It was pretty vehicle-centric. There's going to be horses, which is going to be kind of cool. We haven't really seen horses in a battlefield game. I don't think ever. Uh, flamethrowers are coming back. Um, there's there's going to be quite a bit of melee weapons. There, there were a lot of melee weapons used during World War I. Um... It just, it just looks really cool. It looks really dark and gritty, too, which, which is something that really caught my eye and looks really cool. Uh, I'm losing my train of thought. Uh, anyways, um, what was I saying? Um, if DICE, like I said, if DICE can make, um, if DICE can make, I think DICE can make World War One exciting. In the way they showed it in the trailer, it looked really cool. Like, they were biplanes, tanks, horses. There was all that shit. There was some trench warfare. There's even one shot of some dude running in to, like, this bunker or something. Or running into somewhere with with a machine gun. Um, it was in, like, the actual first-person perspective. That was pretty cool. Um, from what I've heard, the classes... From what I've heard... Uh, I was watching a video from Jack Frags earlier where he said that the classes are going to be the, I think... The medic, 
uh, salt engineer and scout um, so um, they're actually from what I've heard they're splitting up the assault and medic classes which is something I, I really appreciate because I don't think the med I don't think the medic should have access to some of the to like the best weapons in the game like you know previous powerful games the, the medics always had access to the assault rifles and, and things like that that's not gonna be the case in Battlefield 1 I'm pretty sure a lot of the guns in the game are going to be of a couple of different classes. They're going to be obviously bolt action. Bolt action was the main weapons usually in World War One. There's also going to be LMGs. Uh, there might even be SMGs because I know SMGs uh, around the time of World War One were kind of were kind of starting to get going um, during World War One, but but it was still very much about LMGs and uh, bolt action rifles still around that time of World War One. So. Uh, there were some other really, really cool locations. There were some in uh, I heard we're good, and there's going to be some maps in uh, in uh, in Italy, in uh, the Middle East. It looks like um, in a in a bunch of different places. Um, there's going to be a single player campaign t too, um, which which uh, I think a lot of the footage in the trailer was from the single player campaign, uh, though uh, I honestly didn't look too much into that single player campaign. Um, but, um, uh, yeah, uh, oh, there's, there's quite a bit to talk about, um, in that trailer, like I said, there was biplanes and horses, which I'm kind of interested to see how those horses are going to, are going to, are going to fare in the game, like how, what kind of role they're going to play, uh, if they're going to be like for transport or if they're going to be like for cavalry charges. Which were also pretty. I believe cavalry charges were also pretty prevalent during World War One. Um, it was kind of like the bonsai tactic the Japanese used during World War Two, um, but um, but in World War One there was definitely some like cavalry charges and things like that. The thing about World War One is that it's an interesting mix of uh, new tech with like tanks and planes and stuff with old tech and, like horses and cavalry charges and charges and things. So it kind of has an interesting mix. If we actually look up World War One and the like a lot of the battles of World War One and the tactics used during World War One, you'll see a mix of cavalry charges and things like that, also with um, vehicle bombardments and, art and artillery bombardments. So, um, it's actually pretty cool. Um, so, yeah, my overall thoughts on the Battlefield One trailer it looks amazing. Uh, all, over, all over the fucking thing, all over the comments section, I was saying, like, rip Call of Duty and how Battlefield 1 is going to be better than Infinite Warfare, which I agree with that. I do think Battlefield 1 is going to be better than Infinite Warfare. Anyways, guys, uh, videos coming, uh, videos almost over here. Please like, favorite, comment, subscribe, and please tell me what you thought of the Battlefield 1 trailer. And I will see you guys in the next video.